Wild speculation throughout the day as to whether or not the United States is facing a cyber attack. AT&T has been down for some time. They're working to restore services. T-Mobile and other networks say they're not directly impacted. It's just that people connected or trying to connect with other phones are having problems. We have, however, seen many different services, according to Down Detector, stop working. Though the reports are only in the few dozens, it's hard to know exactly what's going on. AT&T is experiencing tens of thousands of outages. And there's a couple rumors flying around. One, that it may be a cyber attack in response to U.S. lobbyists dumping Chinese communist clients. I don't know that that's true. Many people have been wondering whether or not this was a cyber attack as we're, our infrastructure is being hit. There's also news that two major solar flares have just hit. I don't buy it. Some people are saying that these solar flares may be disrupting radio communications. That explains everything. It doesn't. It certainly could explain why perhaps Starlink was facing outages that I get. But AT&T being so directly impacted. Now we have this. Pharmacies nationwide report outages in wake of cyber attack. Change Healthcare said he became aware of the outside threat on Wednesday morning, disconnecting their systems for security purposes. My friends, it looks like for now, whether they're related or not, there is a massive cyber attack currently underway. I'd like to remind all of you what Eric Prince said when he came on the Culture War podcast, it happens overnight. One day everything's normal. The next day you wake up and the power's out. I don't know that anything happens here. I don't know what this story means. Cyber attacks happen all the time, every day. This may be nothing. I implore you, however, have some emergency food and water, have an exit plan, have a bug out bag. These are not prepper conspiracy practices. These are things that typically law enforcement and first responders would tell you to do. Do you have a bug out bag? No, for real. Like, do you have a bag with a, a change of clothes, some emergency food, a flashlight, maybe, maybe a Leatherman u- u- utility or a tool or something like this? Shoes. You never know when a fire might happen. And if you're forced to flee, what will you be able to grab to help you survive? Please pay attention. Fox Business reports pharmacies across the country are reporting delays to prescription orders due to a cyber attack against one of the nation's largest healthcare technology companies. Change Healthcare, a company handling orders and patient systems throughout the U.S., first noticed the cybersecurity issue affecting its networks Wednesday morning on the East Coast. Change Healthcare is experiencing network interruption related to a cybersecurity issue, and our experts are working to address the matter. Once we became aware of the outside threat in the interest of protecting our partners and patients, we took immediate action to disconnect our systems and prevent further impact, to prevent further impact, Change Healthcare said in a statement. It added, we will provide updates as more information becomes available. Pharmacies across the country have put out notices that the attack on Change Healthcare is disrupting their ability to process patients' orders. Now, hold on. Why would someone attack pharmacies? Serious question. Look, if you want money, going after a financial institution makes more sense. If you want to cause harm to people, going after a pharmacy makes more sense. However, dependency on uh, medication could result in expedited payment through uh, uh, of an uh, of money in an extortion attempt. Quote, we're experiencing a temporary pharmacy outage at the 22D Medical Group. We understand the inconvenience this may cause and appreciate your patience as we work diligently to resolve the issue. Our team is working to restore complete pharmacy services as soon as air. Uh, I'm sorry, as soon as possible. I read this, the, the next line accidentally reads a post from 22, 20 second, Oh, it's 22 second medical group. They put 22 D a medical center based around McConnell Air Force Base in Kansas. The estimated date for resolving the issue will be tomorrow or later. We will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates on our progress. There is currently no publicly available report on the nature or origin of the cybersecurity issue plaguing change healthcare. There is a nationwide outage from some of the largest prescription processors in North America. Michigan based Canadian Lakes Pharmacy wrote on social media Wednesday. The announcement continued. We can receive your prescription, but most insurance plans cannot bill to your insurance company. If you can wait a day or so to pick up your prescription, that would be great. If you need it today, we can do our best to accommodate individual needs. The service outage is expected to last until tomorrow, but Change Healthcare has not given 
a de- definitive timeline for a return to service. We don't know how severe this is, what's going on, why. So best to re- remain calm. As we are dealing with this AT&T outage, many are speculating it could be a solar flare. Two big solar flares have it. We have this from the NOAA strong solar flare event. Okay, my friends, there is a cyber attack on our pharmaceutical industry right now on our pharmacies. I shouldn't say pharmaceutical industry. This means people who need medicine to live and survive and abate symptoms are going to have troubles at the same time. Cell phone outage. I talked about this this morning. Cell phones and communications reduce death because people can quickly phone emergency services. We learned that 911 was disabled in many uh, locations because of this outage. Now, pharmacies. I'm not saying I know what's going on, but that certainly is a heck of a coincidence where the fear. Look, when, when if, if we are going to be under attack, they will go after critical infrastructure like communications to inhibit our ability to produce to inhibit our ability to save lives. But now pharmacies as well are struggling. Far be it for me to know for sure. Could it be the solar flare story is actually just an attempt to calm people down in the event that we may be under attack, perhaps by Russia or China or who knows? No idea. I don't know what to tell you. You know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's not war. Solar flare makes more sense. No, but there's a cyber attack on pharmacies. Look, Before the news about the pharmacies came out, many people were like, maybe it was a solar flare, but let's play that game. If a major solar flare was hitting and was going to cause disruptions to our communication technology, y'all should be ready for what that could mean. Lack of communication will be terrifying for people. Let me explain. Everybody thinks they know. And it's because of this day and age with Twitter and social media, we do know a lot. So uh, I remember, I can't remember what happened. I think I was in New York and I heard bangs, gunshots, and I immediately went on Twitter and I searched for it. And sure enough, they were like shots reported fire. I was like, wow. I remember feeling an earthquake. And then I immediately went on Twitter and searched earthquake. Sure enough. Wow. Yeah, it actually happened. It's crazy. This was, um, when was this? It might've been like uh, a minor earthquake in Virginia. I can't remember exactly where, but I was like, was that an earthquake? I want to check. And a ton of people were saying like, I think I felt an earthquake. It's really amazing. If war were to break out and our communication grid shut down, I want you to think about what that would be like for you in your home. You turn the TV on, nothing. You check your phone, dead. You turn on the radio, nothing. A truck then pulls up in front of your house and men in what looks like military gear with guns jump out and start sweeping your neighborhood. What do you do? You don't know who they are. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? I mean, you can assume it must be the military. A rapid response like this couldn't be an invading force. So they must be doing something. What do you do? What do you do? You go outside. What happens? They might say, get back, get back. Who knows what they're looking for? You have no idea. Worse still, an explosion, gunshots. You don't know who's shooting. You don't know who's good. You don't know who's bad. You don't know anything. Welcome to the fog of war. Communications have made us complacent. Now, right now, if, you know, like a shootout happened somewhere, everyone on Twitter is sharing the information and it could be wrong, but usually you're in a more informed circumstance. I mean, at the very least, someone says, hey, there's gunshots here at, you know, first and main don't go. And then you could be like, OK, I won't. People don't understand this, though. In a city with buildings everywhere, when there are loud noises, the echo and the reflection of the sound, you don't know exactly where it's coming from. Shutting down communications is tremendously powerful for somebody who is trying to attack a group of people. That being said, I have no idea. I want to stress that a million times. But there is a cyber attack currently underway on our pharmacies, and that makes me worried. Could these things be related? Is this the start of something big? Maybe not, but you'll never know. Because I'll stress again, like Eric Prince said, it happens overnight. What happens if tonight you wake up and tomorrow the power's out and there's no communications? Do you have emergency supplies? Do you know what you're going to do? What if it was a solar flare and all communications are shut down? What if it's the big one? 
the solar flare that destroys all electronics. What are you going to do? I moved out of the city. We've got our supplies. We've got our plans. For security reasons, I won't reveal what they are. But everybody knows I got chickens. That's a good start. This could be something big or nothing. But I will end by saying this. I do believe this year there will be a major mobilization of war. I don't know to what degree that major mobilization is. But I think because of the threat of Donald Trump, because of the failings of Joe Biden, the deep state, they want war, they need war, and we are staring down the precipice of World War III. Maybe. Next segment is coming up tonight at 8 p.m. over at youtube.com slash timcastirl. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all then. Hopefully.